Welcome to Halloween commercial chaos. Mad Clown uh, vetted a pack, and we have some Halloween edition commercials. So we've got Wicked Worldwide and Lacrimosa Local. We'll start with that. We do have credits. I'll read those at the end. And we've got a couple poops, and we've got some some clown commercials as, as well. So there's special edition clown commercials will be appearing on the program here tonight. Thank you, Mad Clown. You might be a little bit biased towards clowns. For those that don't know, this is a segment where we just watch commercials that might be weird, um, funny, interesting, stuff like that. And I probably could use safety and insurance. Workplace safety and insurance. insurance board is asking you to make safety a priority in your workplace. You can do this by always wearing proper safety equipment. Yeah, the compressors. Yeah. Demanding proper training. Know your rights and responsibilities, like the right to refuse unsafe work. And always look out for your fellow co-workers. What's going to happen? You make safety a priority. Uh, guys. You help prevent injuries. Oh. Workplace injuries and deaths are preventable. If there is a random zombie attack. <laughs> Holy like shit. For more safety tips and a chance to win a killer laptop, visit preventive.ca. That was a 2009 commercial. <laughs> Thanks, Canada. Um... Hang on a second. I need to uh, get a limiter up on this because we may get loud zombies at random intervals. Uh, once again, if you're just joining, I'm a little sick. So I will be, uh, my voice will not be what it is usually. Um, and laughing fits may kill me. Just so you're aware. That said, I am really glad people are here tonight. And I, I want you to enjoy the commercials because that's what, that seems to be what people want. They want commercials. But uh, hopefully none of these commercials are too funny. We wouldn't want that. All right. I've got the limiter. Let me just get it going and then we will continue. All right. Spooky cats. Japanese scary cats. Okay, that was a good one. Good commercial. Uh, it worked, whatever that product is. I'm, I'm in. Happy Merry Christmas! No, it's too soon for Christmas! Oh, nice too Wilhelm. Too soon for Christmas! The well, showroom on Union has monstrous discounts on a huge selection of solid gold chains, diamond rings, diamond studs, diamond bracelets, and necklaces. Don't pay ghoulish prices at the fancy store. And the showroom We just got Christmas jump scared. Christmas and 12 months, same as cash, interest free financing. Say it now! It's the monstrous, not too soon for Christmas sale. Now at Airport Plaza Jewelers, the showroom on Union. Just look for the bright red awning. I, these low budget commercials always end up looking the same, except there is one thing missing from this commercial. Do you know what that is? That one thing is this. It is. Uh, hang on. What is it? No, 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 not who. Hoot. Not that one. It's here somewhere. Oh, oh wow. There it is. That one was from Buffalo. This one's from oh Wilmington, God. North Carolina. <laughs> hey, Joe Ponner. You look like you've seen a ghost. Need some nice. cash. You just got a spooky prize from your competition. Let's see what we can do. Pond South. Don't get tricked. Oh, get that is such right. a thick Thanks. southern accent. <laughs> Don't get drained by the competition. Come to Pond South for your top dollar loan today. And overdubbed. And against a green screen, too. My toilet's been acting up for weeks. Is there anything it, you can do? It, it might be it might be a <sighs> skibbity. No way, I'm out of here. Where are you going? It is a brain virus. Skibbity is a brain virus. <laughs> it's exorcist. 
For all your plumbing and air conditioning needs, just call Radiant. It's a demon toilet. Boy, I've, I've left a couple demonic toilets in my life. That one time at Barclay Center, oh my God, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, I give you these cookies, and in exchange, you give me your pimento and pickled sandwich? Only if you really, really want it. Pimento and Thanks, pickle? Sucker. Are you a bad negotiator? <laughs> at Automart, we just want to help you get on the road with a good, reliable car. No credit? No problem. We can help you rebuild your credit in as little as 24 months with our own complete online loan process. Automart. No hard negotiation necessary for your driving future. Wow. Did you really eat that shitty sandwich? Uh oh. Why does this look like it's going to turn into a porn? No, seriously, like, I. Oh my god. There's something about the animation that made me immediately think it was something related to porno. But it's just a Belgium thing. Ooh, I've seen lots of scary things, but nothing gives me nightmares like Halloween porno. Bed springs. This weekend, treat your family to the best in beds. Water beds from the bedroom at Bewitched Savings. Like kids' water beds from only $159. Waveless Soma beds from $249. And my favorite... Black Lager, just $2.59. Wow. Financing's easy as Those prices. Did I say pie? Don't let spring spook your nights. Say big on the best in beds. Through Monday only at the bedroom. That's actually not the worst makeup. Like the pumpkin head man actually has some decent makeup. Like not, not a bad pumpkin head man. I might buy a mattress from him at those prices. <laughs> oh my god. It's so perfect. It's six flags. Come out for ghosts. Oh, that's Mike. And one screaming coaster after another. We like we like to party. We like to party. Joel? We like we like to party. Six flags. It's playtime. The fuck? What is happening? I'm so confused. I was like, oh, that's the Adobe Enhance replacing it. And it sounds really good. Like, it sounds like a real human voice. And then people are like, that's Mike and Joel. I'm like, what the fuck? Also, um, <laughs> the amount of work Mad Clown is putting into these segments is really commendable. Even if it's just shit posts. That's work. It's a lot of effort. Endo, auto. すいませんしなぎれです。そうですか。素敵な息です。Oh my god. お客様困ります。人のこと <laughs> Okay, that was a horror commercial for sure. Dad, Mr. Voorhees from Crystal Lake just called. He said no one Mr. will I thought she was going to say Mr. Vor. Any problem, anytime, anywhere. Oh, this is cursed already. This is the cursedest. TJ's plumbing and heating. Whoa. Yeah, those heating bills, they can be the real killer. TJ's installs Tempstar heating and cooling products. Natural gas heating. Thanks, Jason. Quiet comfort and low operating cost. Natural gas, your best energy value. Any problem, anytime, anywhere. Well, that is really all they had to do on Friday the 13th was stop having the sexa and start hiring him or helping him with his plumbing. Say that to do it yourself. Oh, it's Sven Gulli. But this isn't the real Sven Gulli. Who's this fucker? How to make a monster. Let's take a look at it right now instead of looking at me because this is really terrible. Oh, look at that. The monster's in the dark. Oh, there he is. This is the dangers of watching It's his son. Okay. See what happens to you. Really disgusting, eh? Looks like my last meeting with management here. That's how to make a monster. Saturday night at 8 o'clock with me, the son of Sven Gulli. And of course, the monster we make is... The Bee Gees! The Bee Gees, the, the band? Oh, 
That's not his real son. His real son would be funnier. That one was from Chicago. This one's from Mississippi. Coop Low, Mississippi. Stranger Things? Is Stranger Things DMCA? Well, here, just to be safe. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Pizza Things 2. Oh, this is a new one. This is from the most recent season. Pizza Things 2. Oh, the fucking Gorgonzola. Oh, that's awful. Pizza Things 2. Cupello. Okay, the name Pizza Things 2 is terrible, but I have to say I really enjoyed the commercial. Oh, we're doing this again. 11. Uh, Dustin, we've got to get out of here before the upside down closes up. <laughs> Why does 11? Why does 11 look like that? It's working. The prices are actually getting lower. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get you two out of here. Right behind you. Oh my god. That was that is phenomenal. They did her makeup all nice too and everything. Papa, what are you doing? I am preparing ahead. Why? <laughs> Too many questions, young man. Oh, nice overdub. I got overdubbed. a questionnaire at school. To be or not to be, that is the question. The production Papa, value is, is very Mama? high. Mama, I found her at a pumpkin patch. I was young. She was frazzled. I had a gun. What Shot the fuck? two times. Missed both. Sad story. What about me? You? About 90 pounds. Young, what is that on the top smart, left? Why? With a big potential to grow. No. Where <laughs> did you find me? It's oh. another sad story. We went pumpkin hunting. We shot one open. You were there. Naked, dirty, and wailing. I, this is like Neil Mama? Breen commercial. I really dig her out. Dinner is served. No, seriously, this is Green esque. We want you for dinner. Family reunion. Family reunion. Troy, Empire of Taste. By the way, this was a Staten Island commercial. That was a Staten Island. I've never seen that before, but Troy, that was like Troy. The Empire of Taste. It's that. That was fucking borderline experimental. Holy shit. Is this a real anime girl or is this an invented anime girl for the commercial chat? Is this like Sailor Sliman? I think the commercial invented anime. Sailor Kodak. <laughs> oh, okay. Kaikon, the tax monster is attacking. Put it on screen. Done. Oh my god. Kaikon, as the only local firm run by a retired RS manager, we know how to defend our clients. Have the tax victims call CPA Kaikon and Kaikon Zenga store. Immediate Highest effort Star Trek parody. All those years I worked for the IRS gave me experience that you just can't get into. Can't, I can't understand what you're saying. I can't tell if it was the quality. It was maybe it was the quality of the transfer. It could have been the microphone. They used an Xbox microphone. 
Um, he didn't even look like a real person at a certain point. Also, keep an eye on this human over here. I, she's about to fall asleep. The tax victims call CPA Clayton and Clayton. She has to like wake herself up a couple times. You see me, Simon? Yes, I'm young. I was on you. All those years I worked for the IRS gave me experience that you just can't get any place else. Something about the IRS, man. I don't know. It's Halloween and Supernova Florida. She's giving you much, much more than just candy. Buy a master bedroom and say, I will give you a living room, a dining room, a second bedroom, all absolutely free. If you come today, we'll give you a TV and a tablet too. Happy Halloween. Wow, that was a complete, total difference between the last commercial and that one. This gilf delivered her lines quickly, accurately, with energy and charisma. The previous person was just like, <laughs> What's that arm doing? In 1967, Bill McCauley served in Vietnam, soon after becoming an automatic weapons expert. Later, he worked in construction well, for real? he cut off his left thumb with a circular saw. Oh, for real? In the mid-90s, Bill and his wife Sandy opened a hot yoga studio. Yoga Loca. What the fuck? Yes, because when I think yoga and namaste, I think AK-47s and grenades. I used to teach people to kill. <laughs> and now we teach people to heal. Uh, but you still you you still have a knife. Wait 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 wait. Today, the Yo, that guy can fortune and his wife serve as soldiers of yoga. Did you hear something? Just the sound of my own breathing. I don't know how I feel about that. On one hand, it's a pretty effective commercial. It's memorable. It's insane. On the other hand. I don't know if I want to go to them. If I want to do yoga, I don't know if I want people who are like, you know, always dodging grenades and bullets. Maybe those are the exact people I want to teach me yoga. Hmm. That was from Sacramento, California. This one's from Brazil. Come to Brazil. I'm adora bonecas. Okay. This Saturday at 3 o'clock, join the cult of the Cobra. Friday night, I scared your mother. Saturday, I... Is this the son of Sven Gulli again? Sunday, I constricted round your neck. <laughs> to the tune of I Billy Joel. only dressed with scales, with no arms, just heads and tails. <laughs> That's the Cult of the Cobra this Saturday at 3 on Channel 32. See a woman who turns into... Eric Extrata. Eric Extrata. Wow. Songuli. No, who is that? That's not the real Sven Gulli, is he? Sven Gulli's still going, but I don't know if that's the son of Sven Gul or if that, that was real Sven Gul. That's his son again. Man. Strong Labor Day vibes from that one. Yeah. Though, you know, we didn't have a Sven Gulli, but wish we did. Okay, people, where are they? Let's go. That was an intense mustache. And just like the whole look. Just eleven ninety seven. Ladies ankle pants. Just fourteen ninety seven each. It says Western Check USA it on this one. Where you gonna go? Miller's Outpost. Chat, I don't know if it's because I took a Dayquil, but I read that as Muppet Post. So, like, seriously, my brain just completely botched it. Mountain Hail, 
Got anime on the mind? Stop by Joy's Japanimation today for your favorite anime shows, movies, apparel, action figures, and comic books. Don't miss our rental selection, manga, soundtracks, look at, look at the anime character logo. Joy's Japanimation, oh 602 South Main Street, Greensburg. Oh, boy. That one's from 2004, chat. So that's when anime was invented. That was the beginnings of anime. Now anime is everywhere. I'm obviously joking. However, I want to point out that more and more at various malls, I see lots of stores that sell anime figurines and anime product way more than ever. So I feel like it's really kind of taken off. You know, it, it, meanwhile, here was this niche store that was like one store for anime in the whole of the United States. And now you have dozens, at least, at least three. They're gearing up for Halloween at the theatrical shop in West Des Moines. For Halloween parties and outfitting the youngsters, the theatrical shop provides specialized, ready-made costumes oh, to I rent love or them. buy. Uh, well, Choose then from a there's wide Alf. variety of materials and accessories to create your own costume or take advantage of the custom costume shop for real novelty. Call or stop in now to reserve your favorite costume. The theatrical shop in West Des Moines. Uh, this place Our seems awesome. Scare you away. Yeah, it's in Des Moines, Iowa. They've got their own Halloween store for costumes and shit. It's awesome. And Alf is there. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Oh, all right. After all that, Meiji. Cecil Myers Mitsubishi presents Night of the Living Deal. <laughs> everywhere to attend our special event. During the entire month of October, bring your kids in costume for free candy treats. Whatever we can dig up and get here before the showroom is too crowded. For special pricing on our fuel yeah. savers, Lancer up to 36 MPG and Outlander's... And that's just a normal MPG. day. One thing for sure, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> Am I getting carried away? See some Myers Mitsubishi. Wow, what a place. What is that accent? Oh, St. Joseph, Missouri? Okay. <laughs> Who's is this anime? Oh, there was Lup Lupin. Estoy Lupin the third. I like when they make the animes in real life. We've been seeing that a bunch. Silly Lupin. That's an Archie Buncher bit. <laughs> Archie Bunker. You oh. Guy. Guy by Come on. What is this? Guy by Welcome. It's, it's real but fake. ไม่นะครับผมกินของอร่อยได้ปกติมีหรือครับนี่ไงซูโม่มินิคุกกี้ใส่เหล็กมินิโคเคนอัดแน่นด้วยไส้ครีมเต็มเต็มผสานคุก
Bro. No, no, no. You run. You keep that money and you run. And that money's likely counterfeit anyway. Holy fuck. Mm. I love sushi. I love Japan, period. Oh, God, it's this one. Oh, this is classic. Gurugamesh. Anime. The, the chef is so happy. He's so pleased. Don't just talk about it. Check out SakuraCon, April 10th through 12th. Check SakuraCon.org for oh all God. the details. That was a meme for you. I'm sure most of you know about it, but if you don't, that Garugamesh guy was a meme for years. Mm. I love sushi. Mm. I love Japan, period. Mm -hmm. The tea ceremonies. Oh. Yeah. Garugamesh. Oh, yeah. Hey. I love anime. Wow. That's 2008, huh? Client mandated us to tap local celebrity Kim Atienza in advertising their bleach brand. He claims to be the Gong Yu of the Philippines. I don't know what that means, but all right. Well, if he so insists, what? Really high production value here. We got cinematography. Do the old boy fight. And it's suddenly English. And then not. <laughs> okay. That one's from the Philippines, yeah. They use English a lot in the Philippines? Oh, okay. Mr. Spock and I have beamed down to make contact with the inhabitants of Omicron. Whoa, whoa! That's an Akbar. I'm detecting the presence of alien life, Captain. It's literally behind you, and it looks like a oh, shitty Admiral Akbar. Akbar. It's amazing. Wow, look at that communicator. It's a Frank communication site or phone. It is an Akbar. They bought a Return of the Jedi mask. Fascinating. Frank Wait. Communication, 17065, Planet Earth. That's familiar. What is that? What was that noise? Everything was wrong about that. <laughs> and I loved it. And I think that's an older one, too. That's good. That was a Glebe DBS Cubert voice. Yeah. One more local slash world commercial. Here we go. Here we go. From Germany. Gotta make with the sucking. <laughs> Another exorcism. Chat, let's play Guess the Product. I don't even know what it's going to be. I have no foreknowledge. Toilet paper, condoms, car insurance, hair gel. I'm going to go completely left field. I'm going to say it's... Um, Um, a snack bar, a snack bar, like a chocolate bar or something. <laughs> or maybe gum. It's like mi minty fresh gum. It's a vacuum. <laughs> Yum, 
<laughs> you know when it's the devil. <laughs> Dirt devil. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I feel like I might have seen that years ago. Kind of, it kind of rings a bell now. But that is actually a phenomenal commercial. That is the art form of like actually doing like good stuff in a shitty commercial. Which, of course, you don't want to be advertised to. But if you have to, I want to watch that one. Here's a poop for local and retro. Is your grandma single? Wait, what? That was lime. Wait, what? Is Mike in the in the tub. I I've heard about it. I, I try not to think about it too much. Monster is monsters imaginable. Now, the monster. 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 Who, who knew they were in commercials? Myself Cookies included. Milk cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good ten are gonna. Eleven. Dustin, we've got to get out of here before the upside down close. I think. Germa T poses in commercials. Oh, is that Choo Choo Charles? Play with their heads. I got a little dick. Wow. Sex and drugs and rock and that's, hey, that's me. What am I doing there? This Saturday. That's it. Go get your dad. Oh yeah, this is a complete mess. Pussy pants. <laughs> I never said that. Urethral productions. I never said. I. Wait. Oh God. Is that what he was doing? Like chat when Mike I know people were coming into my chat and they were like Vinny Mike is in a bathtub right now if he ever does that again I don't want to know about it let him let him do that holy shit what a fever dream um okay listen <laughs> that was that that gave me rickets uh listen all right that's nonsensical video generator that made that if you don't know what that is, it creates, it's like a YouTube poop generator. And Mad Clown put a bunch of clips together into the poop. So, anyway, here's some rotting retro commercials, uh, some of which are Halloween themed. Ready, Pepe? After you. Okay. When Steve you're Whitmire. watching your TV, mm -hmm. with your remote and your family, okay. Okay. you might find things kids should not see. Ugh. Like me in a see through night tea. Grief. With a V chip, you can relax. Uh. No more uh. with me wielding an axe. You're right. <laughs> Our program guides have the rating, so there's, there's no need debating. Because the V chip will block it up before you can even see it again. Sure. There's only one Inside permit. The TVs, that's where you'll find. In the V's. <coughs> they found the okay. <coughs> now, what should I do, Carmen? You follow step by step directions on your set. And this will appear on the on screen menu, okay? Just turn on the V chip and your TV will skip. Stuff you do not want your kids to view. <laughs> to find Is out a V chip like a V card? No, it's when you put it in your brain and when, when um, the parents put it in your brain when you're a kid. It's like that South Park thing from years ago. And when you see something disturbing on the TV, it shocks you and you die. Interesting, they got the Muppets to advertise that. A haunted house with ghosts and ghouls dares you to look around. Start in the eerie elevator, make it to the top, and chase out your first ghost. Then get a helping hand over the bridge. Oh no, you're trapped! But if you pull the secret lever, open the staircase and go down the ramp. Man, why didn't I have this? And you're ready for more Man, I got such Inside shit toys. Haunted house. Matchbox Haunted House, part of Hero City, comes with everything seen here. <laughs> no, I had some good toys, but I didn't have that one. I want cool toys now. I, I want to go back in time and get cool toys. And you make and remake into the most monster is I think I remember this commercial. Now, commercial. <laughs> monster face comes with everything shown here. That's pretty cool. That's very they live. No, I had the Pee Wee Herman doll. I didn't have Monster Face. I wouldn't have thrown Monster Face out of a moving car. And now a new discovery from Kid Cuisine. Oh man, I fucking, I ate these goddamn things. 
Not a lot of them, but an enough. What is it, Casey? It's the new Halloween kid cuisine. Halloween! Happy Halloween! Wait, 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 wait. Can you say that again? A brownie of frost with orange juice and yummy trick applesauce. Orange juice! Discovery, Casey. New Halloween kit cuisine, food and fun, all in one. Say it again. Good discovery, Casey. New Halloween kit cuisine, food and fun, all in one. That's an interesting voice. I can hear you, right? All right. We were telling ghost stories in the Fun Fruits jungle. Often hoping and They skeleton. built a tree. Yeah! In a poop costume. <laughs> well, there's a whole ass set in this commercial. And that's when we discovered Fun Fruit Spooky Fruit with skulls, ghosts, and monsters. I could, I could fuck up a uh, Spooky Fruit right Astronauts about now. And spaceships. We own fruit snacks. With like alien boogers? Oh, yeah. Fun Fruit Space Shapes and Spooky Fruit. That's a, like, so that's a high effort commercial. God knows they made their money so they could do stuff like that, but I like that commercial. A, one, a two, a three, four, five, a six. Wait, six, what? Six. Surprise. It's six finger. It looks like your finger, but watch him flip. It's a secret weapon at your fingertip. Just point and fire. What? Six finger sends an SOS missile to your friends. The fuck is this? Fires cap loaded bombs in the bombs with a ballpoint pen and signals and code. Looks like a finger so no one can see who has six finger. Shoots rockets. Dad, I want I want the sixth finger. Strikes with a pen and signals and code. Shoots message missiles and watch them go. And it looks like a finger. Yeah, it looks very realistic. No one will be able to tell the difference when you're shooting bombs out of your finger. <laughs> what the fuck is this product? Dollars everywhere. Six finger, six finger, man alive. How did I man alive. Along with five? Yo, I kind of want it if it's under two dollars. I'll buy a fake finger for two bucks. Yeah, that's fine. Chat, I, I really, I really enjoyed that commercial because it was just it. it it seems absurd, but I got to be honest, I think as a kid, if I saw that commercial, even in black and white, I would have wanted a fake finger that now goes for one thousand dollars on eBay. It's twenty five dollars in twenty twenty three. All right. Fuck that. Yeah, it's me, Beetlejuice. You want to check out my great new house. Love check out my cock, house. huh? Scary. Each sold separately. Just lie down inside and say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Even small. I'm scary. Boom. Ah. Now, back to normal. Beetlejuice. Let me try it. Beetlejuice. Where'd he go? And that's why they call it the vanishing vault. <laughs> Welcome back. So how was the vault? I lost my head over it. Ah. Oh my Beetlejuice God. Beetlejuice vanishing vault comes with micro figure. Other figures sold separately. It To me, it's just, okay, it's a little weird. First of all, Beetlejuice as a movie he honks his dirty, diseased cock and says, nice fucking metal. But like, then they made like a show for kids and then they made like play sets with Beetlejuice. It just, it, it was a weird time. Extreme Born with the ultimate ghost-busting gear. Extreme climbing. Eduardo and Roland face extreme ghosts with awesome attack power. No, I didn't have any of this. This is like 90s. I had like 80s Ghostbusters stuff. I didn't have any extreme Ghostbusters, but everything had to be extreme. You need to take it to its logical conclusion, which is extremity. Mighty Max, Mighty Max. It's Mighty Max. Welcome to Skull Dungeon. Wow. Mighty Max. Smasher, get up! Your brain so I had the Star Wars versions of these, I think. Brain. One was like a C-3PO head. One was Chewy. Took place on Endor. Step. It's not over, Mighty Max. Will Max get fried? His fate is in your hands. <laughs> Mighty Max, Mighty Max. You can collect all his adventure sets, each sold separately. Mighty Max Spooky. figure included from Mattel. Uh, yeah, I didn't have Mighty Max. I just had the Star Wars similar type product. Hello, humans. I'm your friend. Relax. 
Look into my eyes. The wheel of the worst? Let go of everything. That was the wheel of the worst sound effect. Bananas. Alpha monkeys. Drink Gainamax instead. With twice the carbs and <clears> 20 <throat> times the protein. After I snap my fingers, you will eat no more bananas after working out. All right. I thought bananas were pretty good for you. Hi, I'm a boggling. Me Wait, before we do that, listen, listen. I'm your friend. Relax. Look into That's the wheel of the worst. Hi, I'm a boggling. Me and my boys oh, yeah. want to nope, be your friend, right, guys? Right. Right. Call us at 1-900-909-5464 and hear how we Don't can call protect them. you from ferocious beasts. Don't call them. You your grades are math tests. Yeah, new story. Every it's a scam. It's probably porn now. Like I'm not calling it. I don't call. I don't want to call a 900 number. Part of your two dollar thirty five cent two minute call goes to Special Olympics. So get your parents' permission and call us at one nine hundred nine zero nine five four six four. Well, it's nice that the oh, Boglins are trying to do something productive in the world. You know, these disgusting little scummy creatures that are taking your money. That's how they justify it. We are connected to an internal phone line in the Pentagon, says a chat member. Someone just said, it's okay if you get your parents' permission. If you're wanting luscious, gorgeous hair this the Halloween, fuck? then try all new Good Guy Shampoo. The only shampoo guaranteed to bring your hair back to life. Wait, Chucky new Shampoo? shampoo. <laughs> what? Let the real you come to life. I don't know if that was real. Maybe it was made by John, the director. Maybe it was a parody, but I enjoyed it. We want your big kids meal. Not so fast, Harry. No. I'll get your double cheeseburger yet. Ham Toto is screaming into Burger King. Now, in every big kids meal, there's a Ham Toto. Oh, that's what this was all about. can have a Halloween blast. There's eight in all, only at Burger King. <laughs> oh, like hamburgers and ham taro. I get it. Courage. <laughs> this show had some genuinely like unsettling moments for me as a kid. I was like, I feel you, Courage. I understand. You're going through some shit right now. Man, is someone going to show up behind her with a giant pair of scissors when we least expect it? <laughs> the very real not CGI baby. It's probably like a PlayStation 3 commercial or some shit. No, it's just Volkswagen. That's fucking weird. Oh, that is so weird. <clears throat> really, um, I don't know, uncanny valley disturbing face on that CGI child. They could have trained a real baby to run like that. I love the singing. You can't get away from it! The caves keep from the pit. First one to the treasure wins, but watch out for it. You can't get away from it! You can't get away from it! Sounds like Ace Freely. I wonder if I wonder if Ace Freely ever did commercials for these like types of companies. I mean, it's the people want ace freely to sing and kiss likes money so why not stretch screamers oozers 
Stretch and ratchet and monsters. Fill them to the top. Squeeze them till they slop. Stretch screamers, oozers. I wonder, like, how much of this slime shit. Because we slime is a thing again. Oozers, each sold separately. There's like stores at the mall that just sell slime. But I wonder how many. Like, I wonder how many parents disown their children because they were getting fucking ooze on the carpet all the time. And it was like pube ooze. It was like pews. Follow me Left to a ear. Place where creepy things crawl. Your headphones are on backwards if it's the right ear. Oh, look how much fun they're having. <laughs> Goosebumps, live on stage, coming fall 1998. I can't wait. Man, 1998 is going to be so cool. Ocarina of Time is coming out in 1998. Humans, you must stop. You must stop now. Bananas are for monkeys. Stop eating the monkey's food. The fuck? Stop eating the banana after working out. It's going to be a little monkey fella. That's two commercials that have been anti-banana. Your cat's sense of smell is four times more sensitive than yours. <laughs> That's why new Purina Max has health guard to stop the growth of germs that cause odors. New Purina Max with health guard. Chat, you don't understand though. In the 90s, CG animal faces to make them do like human and, and silly things instantly worked on everybody. Because you see something like that and you're like, I'm going to do that. That's crazy. How do you do that? I don't know how to do it. The cat's real. I'm going to buy the thing. Now it's just everything is a CGI cat. So. <sighs> eh, still would. Madison.com bringing your marriage back to life. Do you remember this fucking thing? Do you remember that? And how it got shut down and there was like a big like leak and oh my god, what a nightmare that fucking website was. I remember seeing it and thinking I was crazy. I was like, how is this being advertised? <laughs> crazy. Creepy crawlers let up loose on an unsuspecting world. I've seen this commercial. I've definitely seen this commercial. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fire up your creature creator. Unleash your putrid toxic terrors and make them scream. Worm your way into their hearts. Play with their heads. Yeah. Yeah, this is an unlocked memory. Creepy crawlers comes with everything here. Parents put it together. Light bulb not included. Yeah, more slop that you turn into bugs. So it's just a thing that kids like to do. But I seriously, some of these commercials do unlock these like forbidden memories. That's the game nightmare. The game hosted by a video. The gatekeeper. To win, you must stop it. Roll the die. The video board game nightmare. The gatekeeper talks to you. Whose turn is it next? And you <laughs> must answer. Whose turn, turn is it next? Me. Yes, my gatekeeper. Go for it. Nightmare, a race against time for three to six very game players. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to uh, play that because the guy's just shouting at me and he's gatekeeping something. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Thirty-nine deaths per year. People hanging up their Halloween decorations. Buddy, I'm all stuck here, buddy. What, what's the That's child going to do? Bobby, where's your dad? Won't somebody help me? <laughs> oh my God. That's a real commercial. That's that's actually kind of shocking. 
Okay. Also, um, I didn't realize that I, I combined when I watched the poop earlier, that was also retro included. So yeah. So we don't have poop for that specific one, but yeah. Full size Snickers only and money and not pennies wrapped in aluminum foil. Anyway, creepy celebrity commercials up next. Do you know who this celebrity is? It's Nev Campbell. I guess we're starting with a tampon commercial. Well done, Mad Clown. Uh, <laughs> she was in Scream and at some other stuff. Sometimes I get the sneaking suspicion that all this attention Wait. is not just for me. My hair is not complaining. Head and shoulders, don't let Dandruff get in your way. And that's Courtney Cox, who was also in Scream. Tickle their noses with Duncan Hines muffins. And this is Dee Wallace, who I don't know who. Brand muffins Whoa. from Duncan Hines, so you know they're moist. Tickle ah. their noses with brand muffins. They taste just as great as they smell. Because Duncan Hines makes them with naturally good wheat bran. D. Wallace was also in Scream. Bran and blueberry. They taste just as great as they smell. Great taste. Um, she was the mom in E.T. Oh, okay. It would take some kind of soup to tackle an appetite like mine. Chunky soup can. This one's chunky <laughs> steak and potato soup. New from Campbell. Steak and potato soup? Chunky Nef steak Campbell. and potato soup. It's yeah, it's, it's chunks Sigourney. of steak. Chunks of steak. And chunks of potatoes and mushrooms. It's so chunky, I'm tempted to eat it with a fork. But use a spoon to get every drop. Chunky steak and potato soup. She's perfect for Ellie and I'm going to hire her. That's what Ridley said. He was, he was watching the TV. He was watching the telly and he saw he saw the fucking soup commercial and he was like, hey, this is an alien. Don't move. <laughs> or you won't look good for the class pictures. What are you doing? You smell good. I what, Joey? Will you let me finish? Hey, you're fresh. It's so fresh. That's close. Does anyone know who this close is? Up toothpaste? Why do you think they call it close up? Got real mouthwash to freshen my breath, and it gets my teeth as white as they can be. Let me see if there, anyone got it in chat. Look. Nope. I'd rather look at you. Why do teeth? Fresh nope. Breath. No one Why got it. It's Linnea Quigley. Up. That that's a really um, that that's not an easy one to get. I wouldn't have even known if it didn't say it. Linnea Quigley was like the scream queen woman from like the eighties movies. She was in. I think she was in Return of the Living Dead. And a, I think it was Return of the Living Dead. A couple other ones, too. Um, boobies was always out. Always out. Oh, yeah. It was Return of the Living Dead. Yep. And plenty of other movies, too. Yeah, you should uh, watch Return of the Living Dead if you haven't, at the very least. That movie is fucking awesome. If you can just bring it up a little bit. I'm like just, that? Like that? Where the oil filter is. That's what I'm doing. Nope. To the left, man. My left? No. Hold it steady. I'm trying. This flashlight sucks. Nice uh, filter. All right, here's what you're going to do. You have a smartphone? Yeah, and I have a color TV, too. What is that, some kind of ageism thing? No, not <laughs> at all. I'm just surprised you have a smartphone. Dude, shut up. Fram, filter out the nonsense. It's the orange one, I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. We got Walter. He was the orange one, Walter. I love it. This is Jonathan Banks, I by the love way. My garden, but I hate weeds. Even poisoning is too good for them. It leaves the roots, and they sometimes resurrect themselves. <laughs> what you need is something far more sinister. Zero weed killer. It actually cuts off the weeds' food supply, and two weeks later, they starve to death, roots and all. It's like tying their ravenous little roots into knots. Thank you, Zero. Delightfully devilish, Vincent Price. He just gets so much joy out of killing weeds. Good for him. 
<laughs> so yeah, Cindy Lauper, but a Japanese commercial. <laughs> There's a lot going on in that commercial. There's a lot going on there. Let's move on. Dark in the city, night is a wire. Steam in the subway, earth is a fire. Do, 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 do. Woman, you want me, give me a sign And catch my breathing even closer behind Another Campbell, Bruce Campbell In touch with the ground, I'm on the hunt, I'm after you Smell like a sound, I'm lost in a crowd, and I'm hungry like the wolf. It was the deodorant. That's what that's what they want you to think. Not that it's Bruce Campbell playing uh and singing well. No, it's it's the deodorant. If you wear the deodorant, you too will uh, you know, you'll be very popular. And uh, you might actually get to star in movies, too. Buster Rhymes? <laughs> you know, it pains me to think that there are people who don't know who Buster Rhymes is. <laughs> Who? He goes, Woo, I got you all in check. You don't know Busta Rhymes? That song was fucking everywhere. It was so addictive. Oh, here, here we go. Hatsune Miku. The real Hatsune Miku model, too, by the way. You're telling me you don't know who Miku is, chat? Come on. Did they build a Miku model from scratch? <laughs> Hi, Miku. This is Scarlett. Being <laughs> sure to who you are makes all your dreams possible. What? Scarlett Johansson, we want to give you a lot of money to be in a commercial with a virtual uh, singer. She's like, can I do it from home? Yes. Yes, yes, you can. Can I help you? No, but I can help you. You spend all kinds of money to blast music louder than you can think, but you can't pony up for a quality oil filter? Your engine will thank me. Then you get back to your robot music. Robot music. They're not robots, they're Swedish. Fram, filter out the nonsense. It's the orange one, numb nuts. They really tried to make Frampa a thing. I was, I was acting. <sighs> With Bob Odenkirk and Giancarlo Esposito. And now I'm doing oil change commercials. <sighs> what am I doing? Is that supposed to be National Anthem? Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it selling? Is it? Is this? Was this the advertisement for Kid A? You're gonna put your robot music away, and you're gonna make an album called In Rainbows. Lots of guitars and pianos, and a lot of real drumming. You understand me? I want Phil Selway on that kit. 
things go away, they never come back. Like me. But when we come together, we can bring back anything. Even the land we rely on. See, I don't know who this is. Acres of healthy soil every second. And unless we make a change, things are only going to get worse. Oh, That's Barbara from change. Stranger the Things. The largest French fry producer is changing the way it grows potatoes. Using regenerative Mental. agriculture to bring healthy soil back to our planet. So the next time you're craving fries, choose McCain. Help us bring back a world full of healthy soil for generations to come. Because Man. together, we can bring back anything. Even me. I get it. That was... That was... <laughs> All right, I mean, that's pretty all right. Uh, you know what though? It, it, it for a show that is weirdly like they do kill off main characters, but they're also pretty good at just kind of giving people what they want. I'm shocked they didn't find a way to bring her back. Like you know, for the fans. Haunted by mildew stains and soap scum, terminate them with Tilex Instant Mildew Stain Remover. Spray Tilex on mildew stains and they vanish with no scrubbing. I do a commercial. Spray Tilex on soap scum, then wipe it out of existence. Terminate mildew stains and soap scum with Tilex. This is old Vincent Price, but I'd do that. I'd just spray the fucking shit on the wall. And I just, uh, I'd say, whatever. Uh, here's what you're gonna do. No, I'm. I, I don't know. It depends on the commercial. If it, only if it was for like, uh, bungly scrumpkins. Only that. <laughs> His finger. What do you think you're doing? Um, changing my oil. You wouldn't cook a prime rib in a microwave, would you? Actually, I'm a vegan, but I see your point. Um, Much better. What's this? Let's make my car smell good. Cars smell good the way they are. Service! Fram, filter out the nonsense. It's the orange one, numb nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a career Jonathan Banks has had, huh? Guaranteed, huh? Let's put this thing to the test. Lab one, go, go, go. Another Bruce Campbell. This one's got Ted Raimi, Sam Raimi's okay. brother. There he is. I think we're running a cheesecake factory. I want more than that. New decade of dollars from the Virginia Lottery. Sir? Do it. You could win ten thousand dollars a year for ten years. It made it. It's the you think anyone I actually won that? Year Don't miss our other new game: twenty-five thousand dollars slots. I wonder, like, someone probably won that somewhere, and then they just blew every paycheck, or just didn't get paid. This is illegal, you know. <laughs> it's over. I don't even know. Someone said that's not even a real commercial. It isn't a commercial. Oh, I think it probably is. I think the chat members just messing around. But uh, yeah, it's over. Miku is dead. I'm sorry, everybody. In her place, we now have Buster Rhymes. I love Adobe Enhance commercials. Thank you. Who's Buster Rhymes? He's on the skibbity toilet. It's this guy. Look, it with the skibbity man went <laughs> up inside Buster Rhymes. Oh, never mind. No, he fell in. Bustabutt.com. Oh, come on. Is that still around? Why am I running from the killer instead of grabbing something big and sharp? Five tips to keep your hands soft and smooth all day. It's just tip, like beauty Did tips. Your camp next to the abandoned insane asylum. It's like throwing good blood away. Another Nev Campbell commercial. Came up to Dead Lovers Point at midnight. 
on Friday the 13th. Lame. So lame. Lots of people need blood, whether they're fighting cancer or giving birth or, say, potentially getting stabbed. Totally lame. I could have saved a life, but no. I just had to babysit the night a cannibal escaped from prison during a lightning storm. I guess I'm going to waste all this blood by dying in a predictable horror movie way. 50% of Americans like watching blood get spilled in horror movies. What's scary is that only 3% donate it. When was the last time you donated blood? What if your blood is green? I don't know. Also, pretty good commercial. High quality. Uh, oh, boy. This is four and a half minutes. Oh, no. My name is Johnny Stanton. For me, it all started when I went bowling with Judy today. Chad, do you know I who that is? Known something was different as soon as she got a strike. She's usually such a rotten bowler. Johnny, do you notice anything different about me today? No. <laughs> That's Finger. Are you sure? That's him. You got rouge on? So what's so different about you? I got my first period today. <laughs> That's young Jonathan Banks. So what? So what? It's only the first time I've ever gotten it. That's all. I'm 15 years old. So what's the big deal? It means that blood is flowing out of my uterus. Oh, boy. Is it just me, or does he look like he's in his, like, mid-20s here? Oh. Nothing much good on. Now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna turn the TV off, and you're gonna go down to Nev Campbell, and you're gonna get a tip on. You got that? Yeah, yeah. Good. It makes perfect sense. Thank you. I can't understand it. The weather report said warm and sunny. I wanted to go swimming. Well, you can't go swimming. You're having your period. I can, too. Just because I'm having my period doesn't mean I have to stop doing everything. We, we might... Uh, no, I'm not skipping ahead. This is just all of the PSAs. Do you just... think your period could have caused the rain? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is your name? Frampons. Somebody said Frampons. Oh please? my God, my Chet. My name is Leslie J. Beard. My name is Leslie J. Beard. My name is Leslie J. Beard. My name. Will you follow along with me, please, as I read the affidavit you have before you? God, this is I, so Leslie fucking Jackson weird. I, Leslie Beard, world famous socio anthropologist have been studying the origins and customs of menstrual taboos the world over for the past 15 years. It was on my renowned trip to the Australian bush country last year Chat, I don't know. that I discovered I... the connection between an ancient Should I stop menstrual watching fear this? and the fear we have today of walking under a ladder. Signed, Leslie Jansen Beer. I, I mean, right, it definitely we'll reeks of 70 cinema. John Stanton. John? Number one, is it true that meat spoils in the presence of a menstruating woman? Yes, that's true. Number two, do you agree? Wine spoils. Number one, where did the term the curse originate? I think it's an old Anglo-Saxon term. <laughs> Let's move on. Come to Staten Island and see me play baseball today? Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Anglo-Saxon term. <laughs> Let's move on. Come to Staten Island and see me play baseball today? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, he just said Staten Island. He just said the ferry. Well, Staten Island there? Ferry mentioned. And his voice was cracking when he said it. Curse originate. I think it's an old Anglo Saxon term. <laughs> Let's move on. Come to Staten Island and see me play baseball today? Yeah, I guess I'm so. Come to Staten Island. Hey, listen, can we take the ferry? Well, how else are we going to get there? 
Yeah, seriously. Still no fucking other way to get there. Wow, it actually is the Staten Island Ferry. I was just on this. Seven days ago, there I was. An innocent dumbbell kid. Now here I am. I mean, it's probably different now than it was then. The, the boat looks more it's primitive. It's be a good game today. I can really feel it. You feel what? Good and sick. And it couldn't all be from the boat. Maybe you're getting your period. Probably. <laughs> Hey, look, there's the Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God, this is insane. You know, I never noticed it before, but she really looks pregnant. Yeah, she does. What? Nah, I guess she's just bloated. Yeah. You know, I think I'm qualified now to do a report on menstruation. Hey, kids, don't drink all the milk. <laughs> this is Johnny Stanton from the Staten Island Ferry. Judy. <laughs> oh my god. He mad clown, you mad lad. You added that in there, didn't you? Oh fuck. I should not be wheeze laughing, not feeling like this. Oh my god. There's so much to unpack. There's the Staten Island Ferry. There's a young uh, uh, Jonathan Banks. There's there's bizarre attempts at humor and surrealism. It, like it's it's absolutely insane. And then you got me at the end with a Walter. Fun fact: This was recorded when the world had less than half the population it does now. That's. Oh, God. Apparently, the full film is almost 18 minutes long. Okay. Well, that's good. Thank you, Mad Clown, for cutting that down. Holy shit. Ghoulish well, gaming commercials now, everybody. You know, I'm looking at a thong. Stand. Yep, it's Mayro World. It's even better with the Adobe Enhance. Megami Tensei 2, Namuku. Megami Tensei, Digital Devil Story, huh? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Bones, Japanese commercial. I played Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones by Sega Saturn. <laughs> no idea what the game is about from that commercial, but thank you. It's a good, you know what though? That's not true. Because it is a game about a skeleton playing a guitar. Game Boy Color. Cheese. What is it? Oh, Zelda. That reminds me of the snake ad. The Burger King snake people. Remember that dude who unhinged his jaw? Rated E for everyone. Get real. For something exciting, check this out. Monster Rancher Battle Card for PlayStation Game Console and Game Boy Color. Use the special card on each CD to battle everyone. Is this game. real? We need to battle and then win a new card. But the fun doesn't oh, stop there. Don't forget about our ever popular Monster Rancher 2 for PlayStation. So don't waste your time. It's the game from the company Tecmo. 100% games. 100% games. 100% games that I don't even know if that commercial was real but in magic and super low budget for in television and Atari demon attack one fake you Vincent the price demon attack challenge you'll be fighting for your life you won't be able to stop the demons attack wave after wave I enjoy the trope of security guard playing the video games you crack. it's gonna get you Demon Attack voted Game of the Year in America from Imagic, created by experts for experts. <laughs> Who voted it the best? Like, oh man, I really have a job to do, but these games are just so good. 
Wait, 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 is that Secret of Mana? Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. That, that's that's the Secret of Mana, people. That's uh, Randy. Who else was in there? Yoshi? Um, Ninja Turt? Okay. Is that Bonk? Goku? Ryu? I think there's Chun Li as well. Yeah, there's Dragon Ball. Uh, it's just a commercial for Super Nintendo games. Who's whoa? What Mario voice is that? Get that one back. Yeah, I'm just I'm always excited when I see something Secret of Mana related too. It's like oh, there the game wasn't forgotten. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, wait. Turok 2 was called Violent Killer in Japan? <laughs> Not, but just Violence Killer. Turok New Generation, Violence Killer. And in English, that's amazing. Um, from what I understand, a lot of these uh, bloody first-person shooters didn't sell particularly well in Japan. So I, I think maybe they called it Violence Killer to just kind of like up the uh, the impact a little bit. Also, Turok 3 releases in a couple weeks. Remastered. Going to be playing it. Please play this game. Only twenty minutes. Was that footage of Nosferatu? Just give the kids seizures. That's that's well, I guess they didn't know. They didn't know. It's the nineties, I suppose. But you know, you get to a point where you do so many commercials. I gotta be honest with you, my favorite ones are from the early nineties, I think. I think the early nineties commercials are the ones I'm most excited to see. But also it's probably because I grew up in the early nineties. So there's a nostalgia, but also they're just insane. They had to go so far to be like like edgy. Not even edgy, but just like in extreme. New life now. Just throw fucking random footage of Nosferatu in a Ghouls and Goblins commercial. I love it. This is not Big Bird, by the way. This is this is like Thick Bird. Okay. Thank you. First persona, maybe? Or... Hmm. <laughs> Hello, left ear. Wait, this isn't the Zelda dance one. This is uh, a bunch of different ones. Dragon Quest, Mario, Tree Fighter. Who is that freak? Is that, that was supposed to be King Koopa? Korean Nintendo ad. I see, I see, I see. Mitochondria. 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 Okay, so chat, I played this last year. I streamed it. I, I rather enjoyed it. The worst foe lies within. I'm gonna be real. Parasite Eve. 
I'm going to associate December in New York and January in New York City with Parasite Eve probably the rest of my life because it's so inextricably linked. Like you have like snow on the ground in the game. There's the Natural History Museum. It's not often that I play a game that like just kind of sticks with me in that way. Even if it's not like, oh, the story's the best story. I mean more just the the vibe of the game. I just think of Central Park. I think of the Natural History Museum and New York in the winter. So it's a cool game. Another how many Shin Megami Tenseis are there? Jesus. Vinny, you played it February of this year. Oh, that's fair. I thought it was uh, January. There's a lot of them. Well, here's another one. They make for good Halloween spooky uh, commercials. Is that a joke? Evangelion. Sure are weird noises in that there commercial. Game Boy Advance. What is a, a child randomly doing sitting on Statue of Liberty Island? The name of which I forgot. Skibbity Island. What is it called again? I should know this. Uh, not Randall's Island. Ellis, Ellis Island. How did he get there? Fuck. I'm pretty sure they were in the liminal pool rooms. Another persona. It's liber liter literally called Liberty Island. Ellis Island is wrong. Okay. I don't know. I've never did the tourist stuff in New York, chat. I guess I've done some of it. Yep. Okay. That's scary. It's a commercial for Dimension 2, which I just did uh, Dimension, the, the Switch version, which is the 3DS version, which was remastered from the DS version. Anyway, uh, it's an alright little mix of Silent Hill and Resident Evil. It was very, very good for its time, especially. But I did, I streamed like an hour of it. And that was the sequel, I think made by a different company, though. Oh, it was the same dev? Okay. Can I get a copy of Seren Kukura, please? Sorry, what was that, mate? Can I get a copy of Seren Kukura, please? Sorry, mate, what? Can I please get a copy of Seren Kukura Burst? <laughs> it's a little bit and a little bit. I don't understand. Oh, oh, because they look at the <laughs> look at the cover of the game. <laughs> yeah, that explains it. He should go to Ellis Island. I'm <laughs> uh, sorry, Liberty Island. Thank you for shopping sound go around. Have a great day. I'm sorry. Do you have Senren Kagura burst? I understand what you're saying. Gurukabesh! <laughs> Here's some poop. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Wait, is that a cat or an alien? Spoon. 
So hard that you're gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> that I've discovered the connection. Oh. oh no, why this? This was just last week, wasn't it? It will hit. I'm on the hunt. Brooke, let me in the... I'm sitting here jerking off to that. It's the class picture. <laughs> Thick, ropey. Then I'll kill it. Then it is the one. It, it's just all disturbing, isn't it? It's just come all the way down, isn't it? Fingers in my dirty asshole. That was... I was talking about the game, chat. I was talking about the game. They say that in the game. Like semen. And unless we make a change, things are only going to my oil. You wouldn't that. I'm, I'm like horny for the scat. Hey kids, don't do All right, now it's now. come and scat. It's all right. It's I think it's time to stop. I think it's time to sink Staten Island. All right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the baseball game with me on Staten Island, and then it's going to sink because it's too low, and because the water levels are getting real high, and then you're going to get ass blasted on Liberty Island, on the Staten Island ferry, to get there. I should not be doing that voice. Um, this one's Macabre Mobile. Oh, it's mobile time. Oh, I saw this. Everyone was sending this my way. Uh, yeah, Wendy's had an alien to promote their Frosty. Pumpkin Spice Frosty. Normally, I would shit talk this product, but I actually quite like a good Frosty. I'm sorry. And if uh, you dip your fries in your Frosty, you should eat a shit. I'm just saying. Um, no, I, I listen, it's it's water. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it is. It is. It is. I've had some bad Frosty. I like when they don't clean the machine for like a couple months. That's when it gets real good. The taste is the vac the bacteria is is real tasty. <laughs> Let's have a makeover. Straight to the point with that one, huh? Claim the bounty of the strong up pirate. Blood. He looked right. We'll have to get to me first. That's easier said than done. I don't intend to be caught. <laughs> Talk to Luffy now. Boo. Meet AI in 3D. I like the, the audio replace. They just went, Band Brown. <laughs> Attention, noobs! <sighs> what? You again? You should oh, not have no. come they got back frakes. here. Our they got Frakes and, and LeVar? Hardcore. Attention, rogue vessels. And Brent? Surrender your resources or be destroyed. <laughs> Brent? Negative. Uh -oh. I am Brent's evil doppelganger from the Mirror Universe. Clan Destiny will be taking your resources now. <laughs> Brett, something looks different about you. For the last time, I am Evil Mirror Brent. Prepare to be raided. <laughs> Guys, it's me, Nice Brent. Seriously, you're embarrassing me in front of my new friends. I knew it. Brent, you said we'd be best crewmates for Evzies. Oh Sorry, guys. God. The kids love Mirror Universe, Brent. I can't let them down. This means war, Spider. Did you hang up? Pre Press what? Your I'm sorry. This is this is a commercial for what? Oh, a shitty mobile game. Yeah. 
got to got to some of that money back that was all blown <laughs> from Paramount Plus. Listen, I don't know how much money they threw at Jonathan Frakes, Brent Spiner, and LeVar Burton, but good for them. They had a little bit of fun. They weren't even in the same room. They were filmed in their houses against a green screen chair, and they just laughed a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Get that bag. No gameplay, because the gameplay would be horrendous. Don't. No gameplay. So wait, you, you make the ant get a dumpy? And then football players try to tackle it. Okay. Got it. Definitely want that game. My life is awesome. John it Goodman. wasn't always that way. What the fuck? I've been to some dark places. Dark, dark places. Wasting my days pressing buttons. Show it in an asshole like or no guts. Pressing buttons. But then one day I thought to myself, yeah, another slow, boring play. What's it? Slotomania? Finally, excitement. Slotomania makes every day fantastic. You never know what will today spin. A new free I, game? I don't even know where to begin. Or even a new friend for life. Never knowing what's coming. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is excitement. So yeah, my life is awesome. Download Slotomania now. The number one free slot game. And find out what will today spin. The actual... Finger speaks. All right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to climb out of that asshole. Someone said I missed it, it being awesome. in an asshole. But it wasn't always that way. I've been to some dark places. Oh. Dark, dark places. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, where, uh, boy. Advertising slot. John Goodman. I hope you got paid well for that, too. Is this what they call a two who? Yeah, it is. It's a little two who. That that means I am in pain. Tight. Idol RPG X Huntress. No. Why is there fake? There didn't need to be feet in that. Why were they slimy? Wait, 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 wait. Why, wait, wait, why are the feet dripping? Why are the feet? Why is there milk on that person's feet? Okay, so now we have a genuine Halloween mobile ad. This might be the essence of commercial chaos right here, everybody. All right, so it's ants again. I guess that's the new popular mobile game genre, ants eating things. My brain feels as rotten as my teeth would if I ate this candy. <laughs> Wait, no, no. What do you mean? I don't believe this is real. How is this real? Simulator, play now. Okay, there's a number of things here that need to be discussed. One, good choice on the Yoshi's New Island music. Let's start with that. Two, an app so kids can pretend to be vaping. We may as well bring Joe Camel back. Joe Camel looks like a fucking clit. Get him back on TV. I don't even care anymore. Get him back. All right? And two or three or four, wherever we're at, 
That AI voice we just heard? Odd simulator, play now. I've heard that on a YouTube channel, right? Chat, I swear to God, I heard that on a YouTube channel. Odd simulator, play now. And it sounded a lot more natural. And there was just, it was narrating, I think it was, was it video games or classic rock? One of those two things. And it sounded a little more natural, but it still sounded a little weird because the inflections and the, the delivery was always the same. And people were arguing in the comments. That's not an AI. You're being mean. This was like last year or this year, early this year. People were like, that's not an AI. That's not text to speech. That is a real person. And you're being mean. And they were throwing other words around as well to because they had to protect the person been pod simulator play now yeah it was insane it was absolutely insane and then you find out the person was like pumping out like a video a day and it felt like it was all ai generated scripts so yeah i mean it's just gonna get a whole lot weirder um i'm sorry that that put me on a tangent <laughs> when in reality, this is also, chat, this is more insane than the 3D spinner. Everything about this commercial just broke my brain. <gasps> All right. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. It's one of these games again. The baby is shooting the police zombie what? in the dick. Okay. And now it's a man. <laughs> it's a man. Okay. No. Huh? <laughs> what, that's the next evolution? That's the next evolution. And then, of course, it was infuriating playing where it's like you, you can see where the mistake was because it was so obvious. Slumber party? Showtime already. I'm experiencing malfunction. I am sorry. I don't even know where to begin. I absolutely don't even know where to begin. Hopping heads, scream and shout. All right. I'm sorry. Can we can we see that again? Was that did did you fart an umbrella out of your asshole? Yeah. It was already in there. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Chad, I'm done. Okay. Vinny's doing the bit where he walks away from the microphone again. I'm actually standing this time. I had to get up. I'm pacing. Chad, I'm pacing. I'm actually pacing. I, um, really, I just, it's just, this, this, and it's never-ending. It's never-ending. Of course, there's farts and diarrhea. I get nervous, I play guitar. So that was the worst one I've seen in a, in a long time. Uh, for a minute, I thought maybe it wouldn't phase me, but no, that's that's pretty that's pretty bad. Um, I don't know what the game is. It, it cut off. I don't know if it's supposed to cut off, but it cut off. It cut off just around the time we were supposed to see the game. So there's no game. It's just diarrhea. There's um. 
also a couple of these print ads dungeon hunter six and nickelback who's who's the nickelback on the right the bald nickelback wait is that real nickelback or is that ai generated nickelback chad kroger does not look real I don't think this is real. I don't fucking know, Chad. It's all right. Um, there's also this one from Bikini Bottom to Outer Space. So it's SpongeBob SquarePants, Star Trek Prodigy now streaming on Paramount Plus. Is that how they're advertising this the show? They're like combining the characters with. Um, SpongeBob, I I like the Janeway in the middle that the uh, the Squidward Janeway. Ow. I don't know how I made that noise, chat. I do not know how I made that noise. It like was it it phased. I'm not like other girls. I won't hesitate to peg you. Anime chat, AI waifu chat bot. Explore your love metaverse. You can be whoever you want. You know, we should we should just go back to this one. Yeah, I think it's for the best. <laughs> yeah, this is much better. That's much better. Okay, clown time, everybody. Um, here's a special segment um, just for Halloween, Commercial Chaos. It is the clown segment of, of the Commercial Chaos. Simon says everyone watches TV and... Hang on. Simon says, everyone watches TV and uses the internet. Simon says, I could learn my commercial right on my website. Simon says, sight, sound, and motion make a bigger impact than words and pictures. I'm Simon. Oh, and I, I have the experience and I thought you were uh, Rob Reiner. To make a professional video for your business. You can air it on TV, in a newsletter, or online. And I have great prices for these tough economic times. I don't think Simon did his own commercial. Wow, he knows how to operate a dolly. For more information, Simon says, contact us now. Did they? Simon Says Productions, Memories for a Lifetime. Did they hire like a more amateur production company to do their commercial? Hola, amiguitos. Yo soy el payasito Pochis. Quiero invitarlos a que lleven a su fiesta el mejor show. Oh, infantil. man. Globito's got some competition. Blanco. Nosotros hacemos animaciones, concursos, juegos, magia en broma y sketches cómicos. Además, puedes invitar a tu fiesta a Barney, Tiger y Winnie Pooh y también tenemos pintadas. The real Barney? Informes totally licensed. E invitaciones al cine al 34-400-38 y al 734-140-04. Carcajadas garantizadas I, o te devolvemos tu mal humor. I don't think you have to get permission from the Barney estate to show up in a Barney suit to a kid's birthday party, do you? Or do we live in a hellhole quite that Disgusting. Kain tayo, may dalak merienda. Uy! Ang galing. Birthday ng anak ni Maring Nenet. Nag-uwi ako. Hey, it, 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 I'm having a damn little bit. In this, I don't Please. I did. Balloons? There's balloons in that food? Da da da. Plunge on the feet full. I told I never feel bound up. He's always in the fog. Ba ba. I would. 
I fucking love Adobe and songs. Oh, that's, I knew there was going to be a clown. We all knew. I'm trying to figure out what I'm watching. But now I know it's it's RC Cola <laughs> advertised by clowns inside of food. Sorry, RC Cola. This is all we can afford. We could get a clown for you. I got some money down, so I'm going to see the credit clown so I don't get the clown. The credit clown. You need the credit clown. Let's go see the credit clown. <laughs> well, <laughs> great yes, verse. Understand that bad things happen to good people. Come to Auto Yes, where your cash is your credit. Wait, wait, wait. I think I can get this approved. I don't think so. You're too late. Here at Auto Yes, bankruptcy, divorce, self-employed, it just don't matter. And Call a couple girls in bikinis, too. And ride today. Uh, listen. I trust this man with my credit. Chat, if you are, listen, if you if you go to jail, you need bail, call the bail clown. Sure, he's the same as the credit clown and the auto clown. Same clown. But the bail clown is who you want when you need out of jail quickly. All right? Also, the proctology clown is another really good one if you have ass problems. I recommend him too. Old tonight music. It's a commercial from Hong Kong. There's the clown. Wow. You just got fucked up. Chad, I'm taking mental notes of the best clown. So far, the credit clown is my favorite, but uh, in terms of makeup, I don't know which one I like the best so far. <laughs> Most colorful clown definitely is this one. Is that what happens? What do you, what is, what do you do? What is it? Do you drink it? It doesn't even exist anymore. So they cut up a fucking whole ass clown to make clown smoothies. And the website isn't even up anymore. Go fuck yourselves. It's like a scarecrow clown. Oh, this is like a healthy food clown. Now, nah, fuck this clown. Oh, that's Fritos. It's chips. It's like corn. It's the corn. Okay, bonus points for that clown being unique. But I don't think it was that. Um, I, I liked the previous clown a little bit better. How would you like to become a clown? It's like a 70s clown. Wow, I'm a clown. Reminds you me of early McDonald's. Do not like. like. Me with a big, happy smile. Happy smiles begin with healthy teeth. You keep your teeth healthy by brushing daily with an accepted fluoride toothpaste. Use dental floss every day. Eat well-balanced meals. Avoid sugary snacks. That's not that impressive. Have regular dental checkups. Now that you know the secret of being a happy clown, let me see you smile. Go on, everybody. Smile, America. All right. Listen, dental stuff is fine. I, you know, it's good. 
listen, a clown's not going to make me start flossing every night before bed, but I appreciate the attempt. So the dental clown is kind of boring and very like 70s and dated and old McDonald. However, the message is good. Find the typo chat. This is lazy. This clown is lazy. <laughs> He's loud, though. I think I saw the typo. THC hip hop magician. <laughs> No, that's just that's it's sorry. This is just this motherfucker be smoking weed at children's parties. Good for him. Okay, one out of ten for clown effort, which is just a nose and clothing. One out of ten. However, plus eight points for being a fucking THC hip hop magician. That's crazy. You get to do hip hop and smoke weed. Yeah, no, that's Please. that made up for it. Come back inside. It would mean so much to the kids. Do hip hop and <laughs> smoke weed. It's 178 pages. And Susan, we'll talk about this later. Huh. Seven ten, a new spin on entertainment. We have bowling. Um, that clown is probably a, a three out of four out of ten, but uh, you know he he'd be fucking so good for him. Bonjour. Bonjour Jean Pierre. Allez bien. Ça va, merci vous. Ça va, il fait beau. Oui. Vos fleurs sont magnifiques aujourd'hui. Merci. Attention, attention, à toutes les patrouilles. Okay, these are like Joker clowns. Like this is he hired these people. Le travail. Like payday, yeah. Police! 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 Watch, it's not even going to be a real robbery. Either that or like 50 clowns are going to pop out of a small car. Or the commercial is just going to end disappointingly. Oh. Okay. It was him. Um, that was just a clown mask, but I like the commercial. It had a good twist. Somebody want a clown? <laughs> That's just Mike. Be a better way. <laughs> the better way to birthday is at Oogie Games, where every party becomes a blast. Save the headaches and save the mess. Oogie is perfect for kids Oogie? and adults. Pizza and pop are always in There Oogie better be a clown at all times at Oogie's. Oogie Games, now at five locations throughout Western New York. Check out oogiegames.com and friend us on Facebook. Oogie! <laughs> Okay, that's not Mike. That's just some random clown. However, I would say I would go to Oogie, but that was probably like 10 years ago or more, and they're all closed now. Well, that was probably... I saw Mario Kart Wii and Brawl, so that might have been like 14 years ago. Oh, there's still Oogies? There's one location left. Again, there better be clown. Hi. We're the insane clown posse. Matt's twisted. Delaware, we won't be seeing the about music videos I this tune. Our music is under the wild, way <laughs> deep underground. We won't be hearing us on any radio stations either. Our music is only for us, for like you. We call them juggalos and fear juggalos. <laughs> juggalos. And died a juggalo. Their wishes is our command. All wishes. Fucking there and coming up. 
So we go out and pray for this time. What is to say? True pain. True pain. pain. Number one, any <laughs> juggalo that might be out there watching, I didn't just like to say. Number two, for everybody else, <laughs> we know you ate a St. Cloud posse, but we didn't know. What? There was a commercial for what? Just them? Apparently it was a record. Of, well, hang on. Did they have their own record label? That was mental. Um, so here's how I feel about this. Knowing that there are uh, many, many, many juggalos in the world has prepared me for all the other bizarre things that have come down the pipeline over the years. So I don't really think, listen, the juggalos prepared me for things that are weirder. So plus five for that. I think their makeup is like kind of not as good as Kiss and they did it like 30 years prior. 20 years prior. So I don't know. I'm not really, and I don't know any of their songs other than fucking magnets. How do they work? So juggalos are kind folk. Okay. I thought they were basically the type of people that would overturn a car and light it on fire and like huff like car fumes to get high. That's not the case. They're nice people. They're surprisingly wholesome, but the music implies that they're going to be like huffing clown fumes and like causing ruckuses. They kind of do both. Do they suck toes? A chat member said they like to suck toes and beat up grandmas. And are they underground? We're the insane clown posse. Matt's twisted. Delaware, we won't be seeing any of our music videos I visit soon. Our music is underground, way deep underground. Oh, it's Globito. There he is. Globito, el payaso y el atolaje ahora en teatro. Ven a disfrutar con la música en vivo. Increíbles bailes y divertidos actores. This is the Sunsurutsu clown. Quiere ya tus boletos porque se acaban. Y te esperamos en el Teatro Dramático MX en Barrio Antiguo, Monterrey. Globito y el atolaje en vivo. There he is. The David Globito is a plus eight just because. You know, he, he he's the hardest working clown in showbiz and he's got a little alien fella. I, I like Globito a lot. Vorig jaar stelden zes groepen binnen Ora hun eigen zorgpakketten samen. Maar sommige singles voegden zich bij de duo's. En negen maanden later... Hey, baby! Baby! Door naar de jonge ouders. En uh, uh, toch maar weer terug. Oh no. Naar de singles. Kortom, je wil een oh, zorgverzekering die met je mee verandert. Daarom zorgpakketten met Ora meegoed. Minus three. Van de mensen van Ora. Minus three. But if you get, if you get clown, you get clowned on that hard. That kind of reverses the minus three. Into like a plus seven. I don't know. I'm not sure. Huh. Oh my god. I, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of these uh, commercials, the slouchy commercials or whatever, because they are like terrorizing clowns. <laughs> I love it. And the, the special effects are good, too. Hey, honey, buddy. Where's the fellas? Burgers are done. They should be here any minute, darling. <laughs> More juggalos. I feel like I might have played this. I don't, it's hard to remember. But again, I don't really have much to say because I streamed it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's, there's just insane clown posse. What about insane clown pussy? Is there any of that? Oh, 
guess what, Tim and Eric back with a brand new style of classic clown. So we're going to be putting on our first ever performance of Tim and Eric's Clown Town. <laughs> what the fuck? A fully improvised educational clown show. We're talking about the history of clowning up until the 60s, till the weed <laughs> happened. And also we're going to be telling you some weed educational happened. materials like divorce and why people get divorced and ch what, how the effects of children of divorce affect children <laughs> from parents of divorce. <laughs> from the beginning of time, we've created comedy that's made been, been accessible to the audience that we perform for. We are so excited to be performing at the Pemberton Music and Comedy Festival. That's right. And just to remind everyone, we're doing Classic USA. That's American can clown come you won't see any of that canadian bullshit clown <laughs> stuff at our show no no wow we do all kinds of classic clown spoofs improvisation <laughs> clown comedy <laughs> Fun, and we're gonna have a lot of fun performing in our signature style of comedy. And thanks to KFC. Couldn't be more thankful for our sponsors at KFC. They really, they really did a number. They support the whole festival. And just to be sure you're gonna laugh, I got a technique to make this one laugh here. My tickle. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's like to me though that's the winner. That's the winner. There's two more, so I don't I don't think anything's gonna top that. Those are the best clowns of the night for me. Ten out of ten. Completely gels with my sense of humor. It's Tim and Eric, and they're gonna do classic clown comedy for all audiences, and none of that Canadian bullshit. And also they're gonna talk about divorce for children's of of the divorce. I like that. Gluten estos días de relax. De reposo que nos dan Though de Globito Santa. is amazing and he's got an alien. This is alien. I have that exact alien mask. Es muy propia de estos días, ¿no? Es correcto. Es un postre muy tradicional. Luito. You can't see shit out of that mask, by the way. Chicken. Miracle Lutis. Duende. Did that say Duende? El Duende. Whoa, that's a wicked clown makeup job. Yeah, the clown job in this video is real good. This is from Peru. See, this is why I like celebrating different cultures through their clowns. You know, we've seen clowns from the USA, from Mexico, from Peru, from the Netherlands. We've seen clowns from Canada, Hong Kong, um, the Philippines. You know what I mean? We did. Did he say Vinny Ball? Huh? El Duende just said Vinny Ball. That's a close contender for first place, but I'm still going to give it to Tim and Eric because they had me laughing and I had a big dumb smile on my face the whole time. So let's get some clown poop. Don't look at my classy. What the fuck? All right, so. Pizza and pop. Level up. Come to Capuzzi, please. Oh my God. And I can't let them Of course, Mr. Magerville. That, ladies and gentlemen. Oh is my god, that was so fucking crazy. That's just a couple weeks ago I did that. I thought I turned this off. Okay, I didn't make that. I didn't make these. I saw that snake toilet.
Want to be married to Sonic? There's another clown. Kapusi, please. Do you know how hard it was to get North to drink a beer? It wasn't that hard, but it took a little while. What a masturbate of this. Hello, Mario. <laughs> This, this is the first spot. Okay. Pod simulator. I need you to put it to go away now, Walter. <laughs> there it is again. There it is. There's the other one. Oh god. All right, here's a mega poop everybody if your brain can handle it. Oh, it's so moist. <laughs> JJ's plumbing and heating. <laughs> that ladies and gentlemen is Walter. <laughs> but you know, he's old milk cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gamers. It's even now. Those are Then I turn that off. Well done. <laughs> but you did. Yo. It gets me every yeah. time. Every time. Granny will come. <laughs> Sarcastic tone. Drink. <laughs> Again, I didn't make these YouTube poops, so me saying it is a joke. Just the sound of action figures and comments. Oh man, my, yeah, my brain is melting at the moment. My favorite character, Kremrold. From the mints of the water. Oh, it's so moist. Stop it. going to get worse. I, I'm just so... I, my brain is so fucking broken. Uh, it, it, that just turned into horror. Proudly, for special pricing on our fuel... Whip your cock out. <laughs> I like that there are people joining, like, from Twitch that have never watched my streams before, and they're like, what the fuck am I looking at? Wow. I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking at, but this fish... I kind of want to start a cult around it. Got my first clown job. Skibbity cum cum yes yes. Skibbity cum cum pee. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Today, Queen Elizabeth tornado blowjob. Th this is just of cursed. Shit. Yes, all cursed. Fascinating. Bust a blood nut. It all comes back to busting a blood nut, or a specific. I mean, the character bust a blood nut. That's his name. Just out of curiosity, I checked and like the top videos are like one of them is like a travel one. Some is just people in jail, I guess. Just I don't know. Uh, one's Fall Guys, um, Valorant, Overwatch, GTA 5, Smash Brothers, and and then me. Walter, put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. So. All right, Mad Clown, that was insane. Uh, thank you for the laughs. I laughed a lot, and and I've been like my phlegm and my my like nose, and none of it's been good because I I need I need like meds. But uh, I enjoyed it, and I laughed a lot, and I smiled a lot, which I I did need. So it says here, special thanks to eighty three Chris Aaron for providing select Japanese subtitles. So Domobot, 
Walt, uh, Bowsasaurus Rex, Gimme, Whoop Whoop, Corvus, Taiji, Pin, Pinnikin, Elizarin, Mr. Flipnote, Queen of Spoons, Scribe Scales, Aaron, EXE, and additional thanks to anyone else who submitted Halloween commercials throughout the year who I may have forgotten to mention here. It's really hard to um, keep up with everybody that submitted commercials for this pack. And in general, because I get so many and there's repeats. And also, I mean, let's be real. If you're throwing a commercial on a drive and or just submitting YouTube links, it's maybe not the worst thing in the world if we forgot you. But if we did, we're sorry. <laughs> um, but Mad Clown, thank you so much especially because you did such a good job. You put together a lot of, um, you know, great commercials. A lot of effort was put into the, like, you know, putting the stuff together in a way that made sense and also kind of uh, getting clown commercials. I, I don't know where you got all the goddamn clown commercials, but it was great. So excellent work. I enjoyed it. And thank you all for watching. Another edition of Commercial Chaos. I'm going to do a little something else. But first. You got to cut cut it. Oops. Oh, shit. Okay, we got to cut. Oh, shit. Jesus. Okay, let's cut this thing. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go. I got to. <laughs> So, chat, we're going to do this sewer clown game. Hang on. Okay. I might not do Faith 64 tonight because I am not feeling great. I think I can do um, the sewer clown game and then I can do Faith 64 uh, tomorrow or the day after if I'm feeling a little bit better. So I, I have time to check out this game. But uh, I just, I need to, I think I need to go to sleep. So we'll we'll check this out. We'll see how long this goes for. I'm sorry about Faith 64. Uh, I'm planning on checking out. Again, if I, if I was feeling like tip top, you know, like the turtle from Diddy Kong Racing, if I was feeling my best, um, Faith 64, I'd be able to do that tonight, but um, I'm going to probably do that soon, whenever. And also, I'm, I'm going to do the Pizza Tower Halloween stuff. Even if it's only a half hour, whatever, I'll do it. So, um, just before I do this other game, uh, keep in mind the Vine Sauce Halloween mod will be Tuesday. And also, I wanted to point out, not that this is a huge deal, but um, this channel on Twitch is at 583,690 followers. That's fucking crazy. We're almost at 600,000 followers. I don't know what that means, but it seems like it's a nice number. It's a lot of followers. Thank you, kind sir. That is like, that's, you know what that is? That's drama streamers asking for donations from the chat. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. 